Hey everybody, this is John and I'm here to give you a little tech tip from streamingteacher.com. So today we're going to be talking about Verify and some of the things that we can change in there. So I have a part here, all tool pathed up. I've just got a facing operation and a roughing operation. That's it. Pretty simple. We're going to take a look at this and Verify. So I'm going to hit Verify. Now in my roughing operation, I left 10 thousandths of stock in the X and the Z. And so if I run this through, We'll see our finished part here. And I've got color loop on so I can kind of see in there, see what's going on. Let me go into my view and turn off my view, sync views. Uh, that does tend to slow down your computer if you have that on. So I can see that I've got a little bit of stock there. It's pretty small. You can see it. There's that 10 thousandths. If we wanted to verify that, we can use the stock compare. So we'll go into the verify tab and hit compare. And if I hit this little green button to refresh the view, then it's going to assign colors on this screen based on how much stock is left compared to the part. So we can see here that it's now updated based on this table. And we can see some colors based on how much stock is left. The thing that doesn't work so well here is that the default values here are pretty humongous for most machinists. Uh, if you have a plus or minus 10 thousands value on your turning, that's pretty wide open. So we need to adjust that. Now most people know you can just go to this button right here for compare options. You can set a new number like two thousandths, hit OK. And now this table has changed. If we regenerate this, we're going to see that these colors will all change on this part because they're not really within two or four thousandths. They're all uh, over eight thousandths here. Now what's a little bit annoying is you have to go in here and change that all the time because the 10,000 spread in the middle is default. So how do we get around that? Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. So first thing, we need to make sure that Mastercam is completely shut down. So close Verify and also close Mastercam. Next, we're going to go to the Mastercam Simulator Defaults XML file. You can find this in your C drive, Users, Username, Documents, My Mastercam, Mastercam. Once you're here, you're going to find this file, Mastercam Simulator Defaults.xml. So we're going to make a change to this file in order to see the difference in Verify. Now, before you make any changes to this, you need to make a backup copy. If you mess anything up, you don't want to have to try to undo what you've already done. It's much easier to have a backup. So pretty simple, I've got it highlighted. I'm gonna copy paste with Control C, Control V. Now I have a copy. I'm just gonna call this backup. Now we have a backup ready. So I'm gonna to go to this one that is not named backup. I'm gonna select it and then right click and open with Notepad. Don't double click that file. It doesn't work well when you double click it. So now I have this. This might freak you out. This might be really complicated looking, but trust me, it's not that bad. So let's get into it. So the first thing we can do is just do control F to bring up the search. And we wanna type in custom settings. Now you don't have to have the case sensitive like this. You just need to make sure it's all one word, custom settings. Set the direction to down and hit find next. And now we have this section here. Under custom settings, we go down just a little bit and we see stock compare colors. This is where we're going to start seeing our deviation values from verify. So what we need to do now is rebuild these numbers based on what we want to see. Let's set it back to that 2000s we had from earlier. It's easiest to start at the one that's already marked as green. I don't like to change this color. So we're going to start at green and work our way out each direction. So we know that this should be two thousandths to start. And then we can go up a level here. We can see that this is negative for yellow. So I'm gonna set this to negative two thousandths. That gives us the spread in the middle for green. Next, we're gonna to go to the next line here. I'm gonna set this to four thousandths. And on the last one, I'm gonna set this to eight thousandths. Now we're gonna go the other direction, back to the positive two. Next line, positive four. Next line, positive eight. So now 
that stuff is all set up. We just need to hit Control S or File, Save, either way. We're going to close this and reopen Mastercam. Okay, with Mastercam reopened to the same file, I'm going to hit Verify. With Verify back up and running, go to the Verify tab and click Compare. Now we can see that our deviation has been spread in the way that we want it to be spread. We can see our undercuts are still marked as red and our extra material is still marked in kind of these blue colors. So that's how you set that. But let's say you wanted to add more colors. Right now we have seven layers of deviation. What if we wanted nine? Or what if we wanted to have less? Maybe we want five instead of seven. We can set all that too. We can even change these color defaults. Let's shut this down again and go back to the XML file. Again, I'm gonna right click here and open with Notepad, open. And I'm going to find custom settings again. And now we're down here. Okay, so now if we want to add new values, then it's pretty easy to do, but we need to make sure we grab the right lines in the right order. Notice that each one of these, if we start from here, stock compare colors, we see stock compare grid item. And then it indents, there's two lines, and then it outdents, and we have this slash, and then followed by stock compare grid item. These four lines are what we need in order to make a new color. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna copy the green one. We see green right here. So I'm gonna go down one line to where I see that forward slash. I'll click at the end. I'm gonna click and drag up to copy those four lines. Control C. And now at the end of it, I'll hit Enter, Control V, Enter, Control V. Now I have two more color gradients here. Now also notice that this is kind of outdented really far. That's okay. It's actually not gonna mess with anything. We can leave it that way. And in a way this is actually helpful because we can now see where our new lines are. Also, I recommend if you're going to add or subtract any number of colors, you always do an odd number total. So we start with seven as our default. If you're gonna add some, go to nine or 11. If you're gonna remove them, go down to five. Three is pretty useless, um, so go to at least five. So now that we've copied two more in here, we'll know that this first one here is going to be our new center because there's going to be four items above it and four items below it. So let's leave the center one at green because green is good, right? We want to leave it there. So going from here, let's move up to this level. And we know that this one should now be negative two. We can actually see that from the line above. So I'll just change this to negative two. This next line up can now be negative four. The line up from there can be negative eight. And the line up from there can be negative 12. Back to green in this first pasted item here. We'll move down. This next item should be four. The next item is eight. And the last item is 12. Now we have a 4,000 spread that goes across the whole spectrum. Now the only thing that's left to do is change a couple colors. There's actually three greens in here. That's not that useful. So we'll leave the center one here as green and we're gonna change the other colors. Now you'll notice also that these are using names and you can use the names for the colors, that's fine, but you need to make sure if you're gonna pull a name, you pull it from the same document because there's a specific way that the color names are pulled. So if you scroll down just a little bit, we'll see some more color names. Pink, aqua, orange, lime, maroon, so on. Let's grab cadet blue as our first one. Control C, we'll scroll back up to the item right above this first pasted one. Paste. So now that has been changed to cadet blue. Now for this second pasted item, we need to change this as well. We can grab another color or we can also use these hex codes. Hex codes are also allowed in here. So I'm gonna grab this one right here and copy and paste. Now you're not limited to just the hex codes that are in here. You can use any hex code. You can grab them off the internet if you want to.
So with that done, I'm going to save Control S, close this down, and restart Mastercam again. With Mastercam open again and the same file, I'm going to hit Verify. And with Verify on, I'm going to go to the Verify tab and click Compare. Now we'll see we actually have nine color gradients, and our green is still from negative two to positive two, and our values have all been set up correctly in each direction. We can also see our new colors. We have this one here and this one here as our new colors. Also, you can change any of the existing colors. You don't have to stick with them. Same process, just go back to that line and change the color name for however you want it set up. A lot of people like more pastel colors. They're easier on the eyes. Well, thanks for joining us for this tech tip from Streaming Teacher. Make sure to like and subscribe to our videos on YouTube and come over to streamingteacher.com for more great content like this.